Hello everyone, this is Gina and welcome back to my channel. I am doing an unboxing today and you might be thinking, Gina, you've already done an unboxing this month. <laughs> and I have and I'm going to do another one and here's why. The first unboxing I did, it turned out to be the, um, the regular, the standard kit, the main kit from my creative scrapbook. Um, and what I order is the limited edition kit. So I went through and later I noticed that there weren't flowers and I know we always get three packs of flowers. Um, but I thought, well, you know, I don't know, maybe Pam's just doing something different this month, who knows. <laughs> but it was later pointed out to me that that was not the limited edition kit, but the main kit. And I went online and looked and sure enough, uh, that was right. And so I reached out to Pam uh, at my creative scrapbook and I let him know hey it looks like I've received the wrong kit and I you know explain what happened I've done the video and I can't return it I'd already cut it up I'd actually already filmed the video where I made the cards so <laughs> already dug into it and and used it um, but anyway they I gave them my my information and they looked and and they confirmed yes it's wrong they apologized and sent one right out and let me tell you, um, I'm not bringing that to your attention to, to say, hey, you know, they messed up. If you've ever had a business, um, or just, you just know, it, mistakes happen. It's, it's not that big a deal. What's important is how they correct it, or if they correct it at all. And I'm sure many of you have experienced that, where trying to get, um, you know, a mistake corrected uh, can be really just painful <laughs> so, and oftentimes it never happens but let me tell you I had sent that email um, in the morning and I received a response by the afternoon the initial response and then I received the confirmation uh, late that evening saying that my box um, will ship out and it shipped out the very next day and it took um, two days to get here so it is some of the best customer service I've ever experienced in any business um, like I said you know it's easy to make a mistake those things happen um, I've been getting this um, kit for well over a year this is the first time this has ever happened but what impressed me the most is how quickly my email was responded to and how quickly the issue was corrected um, I just give them lots of kudos. That is it's just fantastic customer service, and I really appreciate that. And on top of that, she even uh, wrote me a special note, and apologizing again, and included a free gift. So I have some watercolors that um, I'm going to be testing out. So that might be another video, because I'd like to try them. Um, Vicki Boughton? Boughton? I'm sorry, I don't know how to pronounce her name. But um, anyway, I love watercolors, and... I can't wait to try these out. So thank you, Pam, for correcting um, the error and correcting it so quickly. It's so much appreciated. You guys are awesome. So with that said, let's take a look at what is inside the actual limited edition kit. So here we go with our three packs of flowers. Yay! <laughs> Prima flowers, they are uh, this month kind of pastel. Um, and one pack is very sparkly. Well, I don't know if you can see that. Um, but anyway, they're gorgeous. And a stamp set, which is great. I love stamps. Um, especially when you're making cards, is is great. You know what? I don't know that I filmed any any card making with stamps. I might have to do that. Okay. Um, but these are great sentiments. Hello, thanks, sweet, you so. So you can, it has little words like so you know so you can make uh, almost like string some sentences to um, string some words together just because thinking of you best friend anyway so that is awesome these are great um, and we have some chipboard stickers love those and again some nice sentiments that's really pretty I kind of like the color of this one and so some ephemera I have to take that oh well, you can't really see very well. I have to take those out and get a better look and see what's exactly inside. Um, 
And, oh, we have some stencils. Three stencils. Oh, wow. Oh, I love the vine one. Uh, I've, there's been other, um, there's been some things I've done where I really, I really could have used that stencil, so that's awesome. Okay. And papers. And you all know, if you've seen my videos, I love paper. <laughs> this is my favorite part. Uh, and look, oh, this is great. Look, um, lots of, um, lots of words for focal points, which would be great. Um, you can cut these out and use them. That's great. Do what makes your soul shine. That's cool. Lovely. You are some kind of wonderful. Isn't that great? I love that. Let's see what's on the other side. Ooh. I like that. I like that a lot. Okay. Wow. That's pretty. Oh, look at that. Can you see the bling? <laughs> you can see the bling. And this is actually, let's see. The Apricot Honey Collection. Okay, so this is um, from Prima Marketing. The Apricot Honey Collection. Oh, wow, that's pretty. I like that. Oh, look, golly. That's really nice. That'd be a great background. Oh, look. Another page. If you saw my last video where I made some cards, these are great to use as focal points. Um, and they can be just almost the main part of your card. So that's what, what I did with my last video. So that's great. Those are always handy. Oh, and another one. Let me see. Yep. And another one. That's great. Like we said before, if you, um, these are great to, if you want to cut one page out, but you're like, oh, but I love this other side. You have two pages. So you can cut one out and then you can save one to use. Let's, oh, oh, there's, a, oh, great, I got two of those as well. Okay. Yay. Oh, look at that. Isn't that pretty? Butterflies. Oh, and I love that. I love that. I love that. Look, so, you could, again, you know, you could cut out the butterflies if you wanted to fussy cut them. Or, use it as your background or any part of your card. Or layout. Let's see. Ooh, that's neat. I like that. Wow, that's pretty. Oh, look, it's got peaches. I know we had a kit um, was it last month or maybe two months ago that had fruit. So you could even incorporate, if you have any of that left, you could probably incorporate that, um, those items or papers or ephemera um, with this page. Ooh, that's pretty too. Isn't that pretty? He's got some little bling for the branches and butterfly. Nice. I like that. Uh, oh, okay, here's a second page. Not that one we already saw. Very nice. And, yep. Ooh. Isn't that pretty? Oh, I love that. 49 in market. That's just, oh, isn't that gorgeous? You know, I, I don't know what it is about, I mean, and don't get me wrong, these are, these are gorgeous papers. Prima Marketing puts out fantastic products. Um, yeah, I love this collection, actually. This is overall one of my favorite collections so far. Um, between the colors and the papers and what's provided, um, this kit is fantastic, but just for me, but personally, there is something about 49 and Market papers that I just love. It just, the colors are usually muted, they're kind of soft um, with uh, any kind of picture, florals. It's just, I don't know, it's just something about it just pulls me in and I just love it. So this will probably be a page I put in my special collection. <laughs> Usually there's one, maybe two. It depends on the um, it depends on the kit and what what we get. There's all, but there's usually one page at least that I usually put to the side um, because one day I hope to do layouts. I've never done a layout, a full um, scrapbooking layout, 
and I really want to one day. So what I usually do is save my absolute favorite pages, um, my papers, for that purpose in case I ever want to do, and well I do want to do, in case I ever get the courage to do a, a layout, I'll have just the very best of my papers to work with. So, I, you know what? Let me show you. Okay, so here, here are my favorite, favorite pages. And you know what? Most, if not all of them, turn out to be 49 in market. <laughs> hmm. They just speak to me. That's all I can say. So, look, and this, this is very close to that, to this one. Well, that's the ethereal. So they're not from the same collection, but they're just they're along the same line, and it just draws me. I don't know why. It just does. So hey, these are some of my favorite, favorite papers that I have set aside. Gorgeous. Look at that. That's so pretty. Mm, 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 mm. Here's another one. I just love that. Wouldn't that be so pretty to have a... Um, to have a picture in the middle and just do some great um, stamping or any kind of mixed media stuff too. Just that would just be gorgeous. I love that. Did I do the back side? What's on the back? Oh, look! Oh, look at that! Oh, that would be gorgeous as well. Just beautiful. Very soft, soft pastels. I just love them. <laughs> I love them. I just do. Look at that, it's so pretty. Wow. Oh, this, you know, this might be just about the whole collection we got one month. <laughs> All of the papers were just so gorgeous. I had, I had a really hard time using any of it to make a card. Um, I'm trying to think if I, if I did use any. There might have been a page or two that I cut, but so much as collection, I just thought was gorgeous, and I thought it would make a lovely layout, so I wanted to save it, so... Isn't that beautiful? Uh, I don't know if you, well, hopefully you can see that, but it's like little ivy. But it's blurred out in some places, and it's very soft. It's just beautiful. Just beautiful. Here's another one. The same collection. And that's another thing I like. 49 and Market pages are super thick. Like, I don't, I don't know if you can hear that, but it's just... These are very heavy-duty pages, um, which are which are great if you want to do a mixed-media layout or anything with mixed media using sprays. You know, you want a good, heavy, thick paper. Just gorgeous. This side is beautiful too. Look at that. Just soft, delicate little lace flowers. Just love it. <laughs> Just love it. Pretty. This is a little brighter. Some music notes. Just whimsical. Just gorgeous. Oh, I love it. The pretty butterfly. <laughs> Look, see, I, I, I really think this is just about every page we got that month. <laughs> oh, just beautiful. Mm. Look at that. It's just gorgeous. I just love it. So pretty. Oh yeah, that's that page when I was talking about um, peach. But look, I just couldn't use it because look what's on the other side. <laughs> oh, and look, the fairy. This goes back. This is some of the earlier when I first started getting my kit. Um, uh, flower fairies of spring. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, that's so mystical looking too. That would be just gorgeous. Oh. And this, I always thought that was lovely. Part of the love story collection. I just it's so it's framed so well. It just it just kind of lent itself for a um, for a spread a um, scrapbooking layout. That's just so delicate. And you know I think this is my very first kit that I received. Yep, look, <laughs> cottage life. I think this is when I very first started uh, to get the limited edition kit, and this was my very first kit that I received. 
I just really loved that. I thought that was just really pretty. And this was the very first one that I saved. So that is my special collection of papers. And so stay tuned. One day I will do a layout. <laughs> And if it turns out that I don't, then I will use them for cards um, because they're, they're just too pretty. And yes, I love to look at them, but it's not just for, look, for me to look at. You know, I, if I, I need to use them. So, so many times we get products that we just love and it's so pretty and oh, I don't want to use it because then it'll be gone. And what if I use it and I mess it up? And, you know, you just can't think that way. So you just have to use it. So. But these, I have a whole, I have a lot of paper um, that I've gotten from the kit and that from, that I just buy on my own. So I do have lots to work with. So for now, I am saving these. <laughs> I'm saving them. So those are my favorites. But back to the kit. So we have these gorgeous papers, stencils chipboard stickers, ephemera, this fantastic stamp, and our Prima flowers. So that's it for this kit. Oh, you know what? I'm sorry. I do want to take a better look and see what's in the ephemera. Let's see what images we have. I'm sure it will be some images that, you know, that we've seen on our papers. Oops, sorry. Come here. Okay. But they're great to add on top of your card or project or whatever you're working with. Adventure. And also, if you don't want to cut up your pages. See, I think I saw this image on one of the pages where I said, you know, you could cut it out. So these are extra... Um, sentiments and uh, pictures so in case you don't want to cut up your pages and you want to use them all for your scrapbooking layout or for your cards or whatever you do get this ephemera pack with lots of the same images which is really awesome this love dream okay so lots of sentiments there's some butterflies in case you didn't want to cut up that butterfly page beauty Glorious faith, some more butterflies. Yeah, okay. Oh, these are great. Just great. Look at that. Okay. So that's what we get in our ephemera package. You know, I, I really, honestly, this is one of the, the better kits, or at least for me, one of the favorite kits that I've gotten. Um, I just, I'm just really kind of feeling these images, the papers, the stamps, the whole collection. So I'm excited. You know what? So we might have to make some cards. <laughs> we might have to make some cards. But since I showed you my personal stash of papers, this video is already running a little bit long for an unboxing, plus my uh, testimonial about um, my creative scrapbook and what a fantastic company they are so anyway I'm gonna cut this one right here and uh, save the card making for a different video so anyway I hope you liked what you saw and if you are thinking about belonging to a kit club um, I really I can't stress enough how wonderful my creative scrapbook is the products we receive and the people behind it the customer service is just fantastic if you have it or if you've just gotten it, then let me know. Leave me a note um, in the description box, or not the description box, but in the comment section below. And let me know uh, your feelings, or if you have a different kit from a different place, you feel free to leave a comment and uh, talk about them and let me know how they are. That's, that's great. So that's it for this one. This is the August limited edition kit from my creative scrapbook. And this time I'm positive. <laughs> All right, thanks, you guys. Have a great day. Bye.